All right, welcome back. We turn our attention now to some commodity-related plays in Singapore. Gold and agri shares are currently trading like this, up 3.6%. Noble Group grow, uh, trading even higher at up 4%. Now, do remember, though, shares of Noble Group lost almost 10% yesterday on a downgrade from Credit Suisse. However, our next guest is still bullish on these two stocks, calling them both a buy. Nirgunan Chiruchelvam is equities analyst at ABN AMRO Securities, part of Royal Bank of Scotland. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Why are you bullish? Credit Suisse says, you know, it's not a great buy. As far as uh, Noble and Golden Agri are concerned, to address the issue of Noble, we feel that the commodity price direction is not really relevant to the prospects of this company. Mm -hmm. It's a company whose earnings are derived from volumes as opposed to the direction of commodity prices. So you're and talking about healthy balance sheets, strong cash flow and all that stuff? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, the balance sheet is strong. It's only one times geared. A lot of the other players in the industry have much higher gearing. So Noble is a company that we've identified that would actually uh, do well in 2009 and 2010, irrespective of the direction. What of about Golden Agri? Golden Agri is the best out of the palm oil plays. We expect a steady increase in palm oil prices this year uh, to the magnitude of about uh, 10 percent. Uh, palm oil prices are due to increase because uh, the demand situation for palm oil is very sound. It is based on sound uh, demand assumptions in China and India, mm -hmm. where it's used for cooking oil. And Golden Agri is the best beneficiary of CPO prices. Do you hold any stock in these two companies? I don't. Do you that. don't? Yes, okay. Yes. And uh, you know what? It's interesting. Is that yes, palm oil prices may go up 10 percent, but last year, year to date, 12 months, it fell. Uh, those prices fell 42 percent. That's correct. In fact, uh, uh, we were advocating the the, the notion that uh, CPO prices were overvalued last year. We no longer think they're overvalued. We think that there's a prospect of a strong bounce back or a steady rise in CPO prices in 2009 to an average price of about $520 a time. And should investors be concerned about this lawsuit that Noble Group's shipping unit is under California suing Noble Group for a, a fuel spill that uh, ranged across the San Francisco Bay? Ultimately, these legal lawsuits can get in the way and can turn pretty ugly, no? That's correct. Uh, but irrespective of that fact, we are positive about the core business of Noble, mm -hmm. and uh, we expect earnings growth to be driven by volume growth. I see. Well, what about other commodity plays? For instance, we also have uh, uh, companies like uh, Straits Asia Resources as well. And Wilmar, that yes. is the world's largest listed palm oil company. That's correct. We are optimistic about Wilmar as well because Wilmar is a palm oil uh, processor and their processing capacity is the best and the largest in the world. And we expect them uh, to uh, steadily increase their margins in the palm oil processing business and the soybean processing business as well. Mm, okay, well, we'll take that note. Well, thank you so much for dropping in. Nirgun Antir Chalvam, equities analyst at Avian Amro Securities, part of Royal Bank of Scotland. Certainly seem to be a lot of opportunities today.